afternoon, everybody. <laughs> Beautiful day for a graduation, isn't it? My name is Jared Martin. Many of you may know me as this year's homecoming runner-up. <laughs> I'm very proud of that title. <laughs> Thank you all for coming out to support us. It's taken me longer than I'd like to admit to write this speech. And between you and me, I don't think my parents want to know how long it took me out. <laughs> so in search of inspiration, I read a book that Mr. Lawhorn led to me. Ten and a half things no commencement speaker has ever said. One of these things in particular spoke to me. Number ten and a half, don't try to be great. I know how that sounds, but just bear with me. The gist of that chapter was this. You don't have to try to be great. You can just be solid. It's like playing golf. The more you think about it, the more tense you get, and the worse you do. We're all solid at something, whether you know it or not. Some of you are solid at welding, taking care of kids for patients, technical drawing, all things you've learned from Washburn Tech. Some of you are good at standardized testing. Some of you are amazing musicians and artists, mathematicians, linguists, chemists, historians. Some of you don't know what you're solid at yet. That's okay. We're just getting started. You'll find it. The point is that you don't have to try to be the best at something. If you're, over, if you're always racing the person next to you, when are you going to slow down and ask, hey, where are we even racing to? When I, nice. <laughs> when I set out to write this speech, I had absolutely no idea what it was going to be about. So instead of coming up with my own ideas, I picked up the brains of a wonderful staff. I asked them this. What do you wish you had been told at your high school graduation? Some of you might think this is cheap or lazy. Some of you might think it's sweet and creative. I'll be the first to tell you, it is both. <laughs> at any rate, I've compiled their answers into the form of a letter. Dear class of 2021, the future will be even more amazing than the past and it will be different from what you expect. It'll get real, fast, and you won't know what to do. That's natural. Life will be full of setbacks, so learn to embrace them and to charge into them at full speed. Good things do not come easy, and bad things come way too easily. So work hard and don't get discouraged. Use your experiences to propel you forward instead of sinking backwards. Many people realize too late that they're slipping, so don't wait to play catch up. Work hard right away and you'll be rewarded for it. When you're in high school, you have your friend. Many of you will be losing or at least moving away from that friend. So make connections with people. Talk to people, all types of people, even if they're not like you. Learn to, to uh, learn and grow together as humans. You'll be amazed by the stories you'll hear. Whether it's a college band, or a sports team, a fraternity, a sorority, a choir, join a group of people that have shared interests. You already have a foot in the door with them. <coughs> Find someone to be in your corner, to push you forward. A support network is the most important thing for young people's success. Once you leave this building, so many things will stop being all the little fights and disagreements you had won't matter. It won't matter that you didn't play varsity golf your senior year, even though you've been playing for four years now. <laughs> the adult world will not care about your GPA or your ACT score. They'll care most about your work ethic, your productivity, and how you treat other people. In the words of Oscar Wilde, some people cause happiness wherever they go, some cause it whenever they go. <clears throat> some of you might get discouraged by the success of your peers. Just know this, talent, it's not rare. A good work ethic is. If 
you work hard and you grind, you will always be out somebody with more talent than you if they're not working as hard as you. Just because you grew up in a small town and graduated from a small high school doesn't mean your opportunities are limited. You are learning the same subjects as every other high schooler in every other state. So take advantage of your opportunities and don't let anyone take them away from you. So in closing, know your worth. You're a Jeff West graduate for Pete's sake. You've been given a strong foundation to build your future on. So work hard and build high. You may have heard the saying, life is a bed of roses. Hey, it just might be, but roses have thorns. Sincerely, Jefferson West High School teachers and staff, as written by a student. P.S. There is no such thing as a free lunch. <laughs> I would like to thank all teachers, faculty, and administrators that helped to push us this far. I mean, without them, this speech would have been literally impossible to write. Let's just hope I learned enough about taking notes, though. I also thank all of the friends and family members that have been in our corner so far. Fellow classmates, many of us will not see each other again. But know this, we all have a bond, whether you like it or not. We've been through so many things together and will carry these experiences for the rest of our lives. We've molded and shaped each other into the people we are today. So thank you, class of 2021. Congratulations.